A pilgrimage is a journey or search of moral or spiritual significance. Typically, it is a journey to a shrine or other location of importance to a person's beliefs and faith, although sometimes it can be a metaphorical journey into someone's own beliefs. Many religions attach spiritual importance to particular places, the place of birth or death of founders or saints, or to the place of their calling or spiritual awakening, or of their connection visual or verbal with the divine, to locations where miracles were performed or witnessed, or locations where a deity is said to live or be «housed», or any site that is seen to have special spiritual powers. Such sites may be commemorated with shrines or temples that devotees are encouraged to visit for their own spiritual benefit, to be healed or have questions answered or to achieve some other spiritual benefit. A person who makes such a journey is called a pilgrim. As a common human experience, pilgrimage has been proposed as a Jungian archetype by Wallace Clift and Jean Dolby Clift. The Holy Land acts as a focal point for the pilgrimages of the Abrahamic religions of Judaism, Christianity, and Islam. According to a Stockholm University study in 2011, these pilgrims visit the Holy Land to touch and see physical manifestations of their faith, confirm their beliefs in the holy context with collective excitation, and connect personally to the Holy Land. <laughs> Bihari faith Bahá'u'lláh decreed pilgrimage to two places in the Kitab i Akhtas, the House of Bahá'u'lláh in Baghdad, Iraq, and the House of the Bab in Shiraz, Iran. Later, Abdul Baha designated the Shrine of Bahá'u'lláh at Barji, Israel as a site of pilgrimage. The designated sites for pilgrimage are currently not accessible to the majority of Baha'is, as they are in Iraq and Iran respectively, and thus when Baha'is currently refer to pilgrimage, it refers to a nine-day pilgrimage which consists of visiting the holy places at the Bahari World Center in northwest Israel in Haifa, Acre, and Barji. Buddhism There are four places that Buddhists pilgrimage to Lumbini, Buddha's birthplace in Nepal Bodh Gaya, place of enlightenment in the current Mahabodhi Temple, Bihar, India Sarnath, formerly Isapathana, Uttar Pradesh, India where he delivered his first teaching Kusinara, now Kazinagar, India, where he attained Mahaparinirvana, died. Other pilgrimage places in India and Nepal connected to the life of Gautama Buddha are Savathi, Patalaputta, Nalanda, Gaya, Vasali, Sankhasia, Kapilavastu, Kozambai, Rajagaha. Other famous places for Buddhist pilgrimage include India, Sanchi, Ellora, Ajanta. Thailand, Sukhothai, Ayutthaya, Wat Phrakaew, Wat Doi Suthup. Tibet, Lhasa, traditional home of the Dalai Lama, Mount Kailash, Lake Nam Tso. Cambodia, Angkor Wat, Silver Pagoda. Sri Lanka, Palonarawa, Temple of the Tooth, Kandy, Anuradhapura. Lao, Luang Prabang. Malaysia, Kek Lok Si, Cheng Hoon Teng, Mahavihara, Myanmar, Bagan, Zagaring Hill, Nepal, Budanath, Swayambunath, Indonesia, Borobudur, China, Yung Kang, Lung Men Caves, The Four Sacred Mountains, Japan Shikoku Pilgrimage, 88 Temple Pilgrimage in the Shikoku Island. Japan 100 Canon, Pilgrimage composed of the Saigoku, Bando and Chichibu Pilgrimages. 
Saigoku 33 Canon, Pilgrimage in the Kansai region. Bando 33 Canon, Pilgrimage in the Kanto region. Chichibu 34 Canon, Pilgrimage in Saitama Prefecture. Chuguko 33 Canon, Pilgrimage in the Chuguko region. Kumano Kodo, Mount Koya Christianity Christian pilgrimage was first made to sites connected with the birth, life, crucifixion and resurrection of Jesus. Aside from the early example of Oregon in the 3rd century, surviving descriptions of Christian pilgrimages to the Holy Land date from the 4th century, when pilgrimage was encouraged by church fathers including Saint Jerome, and established by Saint Helena, the mother of Constantine the Great. The purpose of Christian pilgrimage was summarized by Pope Benedict XVI this way, to go on pilgrimage is not simply to visit a place to admire its treasures of nature, art or history. To go on pilgrimage really means to step out of ourselves in order to encounter God where he has revealed himself, where his grace has shone with particular splendor and produced rich fruits of conversion and holiness among those who believe. Above all, Christians go on pilgrimage to the Holy Land, to the places associated with the Lord's Passion, Death and Resurrection. They go to Rome, the city of the martyrdom of Peter and Paul, and also to Compostela, which, associated with the memory of St. James, has welcomed pilgrims from throughout the world who desire to strengthen their spirit with the Apostles' witness of faith and love. Pilgrimages were, and are, also made to Rome and other sites associated with the Apostles, Saints and Christian Martyrs, as well as to places where there have been apparitions of the Virgin Mary. A popular pilgrimage journey is along the way of St. James to the Santiago de Compostela Cathedral, in Galicia, Spain, where the Shrine of the Apostle James is located. A combined pilgrimage was held every seven years in the three nearby towns of Maastricht, Aachen and Cornelimunster where many important relics could be seen see, Pilgrimage of the Relics, Maastricht. Chaucer's The Canterbury Tales recounts tales told by Christian pilgrims on their way to Canterbury Cathedral and the Shrine of Thomas Becket. Topic: Hinduism. According to Carol Werner's popular dictionary of Hinduism, most Hindu places of pilgrimage are associated with legendary events from the lives of various gods. Almost any place can become a focus for pilgrimage, but in most cases they are sacred cities, rivers, lakes, and mountains. Hindus are encouraged to undertake pilgrimages during their lifetime, though this practice is not considered absolutely mandatory. Most Hindus visit sites within their region or locale. Kumbh Mela – Kumbh Mela is one of the largest gatherings of humans in the world where pilgrims gather to bathe in a sacred or holy river. The location is rotated among Allahabad, Haridwar, Nashik, and Ujjain. Cha Dham – Four holy pilgrimage sites, the famous four holy sites Puri, Ramaswaram, Dwarka, and Badrinath or alternatively the Himalayan towns of Badrinath, Kadarnath, Gangorti, and Yamunotri compose the Cha Dham four abodes pilgrimage circuit. Kanwa pilgrimage – The Kanwa is India's largest annual religious pilgrimage. As part of this phenomenon, millions of participants gather sacred water from the Ganga usually in Haridwar, Gangorti, Gormuk, or Sultan Ganj and carry it across hundreds of miles to dispense as offerings in Shiva shrines. 
Old holy cities per Puranic texts, Varanasi formerly known as Kashi Shiva, Allahabad formerly known as Prayag, Haridwar Rishikesh Vishnu, Mathura Vrindavan Krishna, Pandhapur Krishna, Pathan, Kanchapuram Pavati, Dwarka Krishna, and Ayodhya Rama. Major temple cities, Puri, which hosts a major Vaishnava Jagannath temple and Rath Yatra celebration, Katra, home to the Vaishno Devi temple, three comparatively recent temples of fame and huge pilgrimage are Shirdi, home to Sai Baba of Shirdi, Tirumala, Tirupati, home to the Tirumala Venkateswara temple, and Sabarimala, where Swami Ayyappan is worshipped. Shakti Pithas, another important set of pilgrimages are the Shakti Pithas, where the mother goddess is worshipped, the two principal ones being Kalagat and Kamakya. Pancha Ishwarams, the five ancient Shiva temples of the island from classical antiquity. The Murugan pilgrimage route of Sri Lanka, an ancient Arunagirinatha traversed Pada Yatra route of Tirupadai temples, includes the Mavidapuram Kandaswami temple in Kankesantarai, the Nalur Kandaswami temple in Jaffna, the Pancha Ishwaram Konaswaram temple in Trinkamalai, the Virugal Murugan Koval on the banks of the river Virugal Aru, in Virugal, Trinkamalai district, the Manjur Kandaswami temple of Manjur. Sri Lanka, Thirukoval Sithira Veliyatha Swami Koval, in Thirukoval, Batakaloa, the Arugam Bay and Panamai in Amparai district, the Ukanthamalai Murugan Koval, in Okanda, Kamana National Park and then through the park and Tissamaharama to the deity's holiest site, Kataragama Temple, Kataikamam in the south. Islam The Hajj Arabic, main pilgrimage to Mecca is one of the five pillars of Islam and a mandatory religious duty for Muslims that must be carried out at least once in their lifetime by all adult Muslims who are physically and financially capable of undertaking the journey, and can support their family during their absence. The gathering during the Hajj is considered the largest annual gathering of people in the world. Another important place for Muslims is the city of Medina, the second holiest site in Islam, in Saudi Arabia, the final resting place of Muhammad in Al Masjid and Nabawi, the Mosque of the Prophet. The third holiest site in Islam, Al Masjid Al Aqsa, was a major site for pilgrimage where Muslims gather to pray and visit the structures of the Holy Mosque, especially the footprint of Muhammad before he ascended to paradise to meet with deceased prophets. However, due to conflict and disputes between Israel and Palestine, the site has been less popular amongst Muslims to go to pilgrimage to in recent years. The Iram white robes of pilgrimage is meant to show a quality of all Muslim pilgrims in the eyes of God, that there is no difference between a prince and a pauper. Iram is also symbolic for holy virtue and pardon from all past sins. <laughs> Shi'im Al-Abaran the Forty, Shehelom, Persian, Chemerdu, the Fortieth Day, or Chiaki, Imam and Chiaki, Azerbaijani, Imam and Chiashi, Arabic, Amaman, the Fortieth of Imam, is a Shia Muslim religious observance that occurs forty days after the day of Ashura. It commemorates the martyrdom of Hussein ibn Ali, the grandson of Muhammad, which falls on the 20th or 21st day of the month of Safar. Imam Hussein ibn Ali and 72 companions were killed by Yazid I's army in the Battle of Karbala in 61 R 680 CE. Arba'in or 40 days is also the usual length of mourning after the death of a family member or loved one in many Muslim traditions. 
Arbarin is one of the largest pilgrimage gatherings on Earth, in which up to 31 million people go to the city of Karbala in Iraq. The second largest holy city in the world, Mashhad attracts more than 20 million tourists and pilgrims every year, many of whom come to pay homage to Imam Reza the eighth Shiite Imam. It has been a magnet for travelers since medieval times. <inaudible> Judaism While Solomon's Temple stood, Jerusalem was the center of the Jewish religious life and the site of the three pilgrimage festivals of Passover, Shavuot and Sukkot, and all adult men who were able were required to visit and offer sacrifices at the Temple. After the destruction of the Temple, the obligation to visit Jerusalem and to make sacrifices no longer applied. The obligation was restored with the rebuilding of the Temple, but following its destruction in 70 CE, the obligation to make a pilgrimage to Jerusalem and offer sacrifices again went into abeyance. The western retaining wall of the Temple Mount, known as the Western Wall or Wailing. Wall is the remaining part of Second Jewish Temple in the Old City of Jerusalem is the most sacred and visited site for Jews. Pilgrimage to this area was off limits to Jews from 1948 to 1967 when East Jerusalem was under Jordanian control. There are numerous lesser Jewish pilgrimage destinations, mainly tombs of Zedekim, throughout the land of Israel and all over the world, including Hebron, Bethlehem, Mount Meron, Netavot, Uman, Ukraine, Silistra, Bulgaria, Damanhur, Egypt, and many others. Sikhism The Sikh religion does not place great importance on pilgrimage. Guru Nanak Dev was asked, ''Should I go and bathe at pilgrimage places?'' And he replied, ''God's name is the real pilgrimage place which consists of contemplation of the Word of God, and the cultivation of inner knowledge. Eventually, however, Amritsar and Harmandir Saheb the Golden Temple became the spiritual and cultural center of the Sikh faith, and if a Sikh goes on pilgrimage it is usually to this place, the Panj Takht Punjabi, Pahatakata are the five revered Gurdwaras in India that are considered the thrones or seats of authority of Sikhism and are traditionally considered a pilgrimage. Taoism Mazu, also spelled as Matsu, is the most famous sea goddess in the Chinese southeastern sea area, Hong Kong, Macau and Taiwan. Mazu pilgrimage is more likely as an event or temple fair, pilgrims are called as Xiang Deng Zhao, pinyin, Xiang Deng Zhao, it means lantern feet. In Chinese, they would follow the goddesses Mazu palanquin from her own temple to another Mazu temple. By tradition, when the village Mazu palanquin passes, the residents would offer free water and food to those pilgrims along the way. There are two main Mazu pilgrimages in Taiwan, it usually hold between lunar January and April, depends on Mazu's will. Bay Shatan Mazu pilgrimage. This pilgrimage can be traced to 1863, from Bay County to Baigang, Yunlin County, and return, not over a definite route. Dajia Mazu pilgrimage, from Dajia City to Xingang County and return, it runs over a definite route. Zoroastrianism In Iran, there are pilgrimage destinations called PIRS in several provinces, although the most familiar ones are in the province of Yazd. 
In addition to the traditional Yazdi shrines, new sites may be in the process of becoming pilgrimage destinations. The ruins are the ruins of ancient fire temples. One such site is the ruin of the Sasanian era Azar Goshnasp fire temple in Iran's Azerbaijan province. Other sites are the ruins of fire temples at Ray, south of the capital Tehran, and the Firuzabad ruins 60 km south of Shiraz in the province of Pars. Atashberam fire of victory", is the highest grade of fire temple in Zoroastrianism. It has 16 different kinds of fire, that is, fires gathered from 16 different sources. Currently there are nine Atash Berem, one in Yazd, Iran and the rest in western India. They have become a pilgrimage destination. In India the cathedral fire temple that houses the Arantia Atash Berem, located in the small town of Udvada in the west coast province of Gujarat, is a pilgrimage destination. Other. Meha Baba The main pilgrimage sites associated with the spiritual teacher Meha Baba are Meharabad, India, where Baba completed the major portion of his work and where his tomb is now located, and Meharazad, India, where Baba resided later in his life. See also Burial places of founders of world religions HCPT, the Pilgrimage Trust Journey of Self-Discovery Junray List of shrines List of significant religious sites Monastery Pardon ceremony Romeria Sacred Travel World Youth Day <laughs>